turns out mouths continuously produce saliva. The average university student swallows about 300 times in an hour, which means you have swallowed about 3,000 times by the end of today's competition. Your muscles contract, relax, it's done in, a, done in a few short moments. Your mind never even left the text you were writing or the book you were reading or the awesome speaker right in front of you. But what if it's not that easy? What if you have to think about and plan to swallow every single sip of water? And it might not work, you still choke. The water slides down your airway and blocks your breathing. You try to take a deep breath in, cough it out, doesn't work. It just draws the water in deeper. Imagine having to choke your way through a whole glass of water. What about a sandwich? What about your favorite food or drink in the whole world? Are you still going to enjoy it? Are you even going to want to eat and drink anymore? And don't forget the saliva you're still producing. Do you swallow it and risk choking? Or do you let it dribble out of the front of your mouth uncontrolled? This is dysphagia, swallowing disorder. Adults aged over 60 are especially vulnerable, such as this gentleman here. Even in the absence of disease, the natural decline of your body means that you're more vulnerable to the disorder. Now, in my research, I looked at close to 1,000 older adults and followed 70 for six months, and I found three factors that can help us to identify those who are more at risk. The first one is cognitive decline, and this can happen to people who have diseases such as Alzheimer's. When you have this, you tend to slow down your eating, be more distracted, and in very severe cases, even forget that you're in the middle of chewing a mouthful of food. This makes it very easy for the food and drink to fall back into your airway and into your lungs and to, to choke you. The second is loss of control of your facial and oral muscles. This can happen as a result of diseases such as stroke. Now, these muscles not only help you to talk or make facial expressions, they also help you to take the food into your mouth, keep it in there, and allow for further processing and easy swallowing. Third one is loss of dentition. As you age, teeth will naturally come off or from lack of dental care. Uh, this makes it very hard for you to chew the food into smaller, easier to swallow pieces. Now, with identification of these three factors, we can target them for change. We can set up screening procedures for early identification. We can try to treat them by identifying and targeting each single factor to alleviate the symptoms of dysphagia. The late comedian George Carlin once said, death is caused by swallowing small amounts of saliva over a long period of time. For those with dysphagia, he had no idea how right it was. But for everyone else, enjoy your favorite foods and happy swallowing. <laughs>